Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I'm going to discuss one JavaScript practice question. That is what the about factorial of given number. So how to find factorial of given number? So factorial is nothing but a product of all the numbers which are less than given number. Not only all the number, but it should contain the number itself. Let's say I have a given number is four. And if you want to find the factorials, what do you need to do? You need to multiply that four by three into two into one. So every time you need to do this. And this is what the logic, this is what the, the requirement you have to build using JavaScript, right? To find the factorial. And this will return a 24. This is what my requirement. So whenever you will get this kind of question. So let's see how to build the logic. Okay. So what do you need to do is here you need to find documents dot write and nothing you don't need to find this you have to write I am just writing for the factorial number. Okay. And I would like to add a break here so that every time it will print my output on new line. So let's say we have a variable called n, which is of four. So this is my given number and I have to build the logic to find the factorials of number n. I mean, any number, n can hold any value, okay. So this time or with this, I have to find the factorials of four. So what do you need to do? You need to print the numbers from four to one. So how you can do that? Okay, let's define one variable. Let's i is equal to n. Okay, this is what the variable. Then what do you need to do? On next iteration, you need to go until one. So i should be less, oh, sorry, greater than or equal to one. Which, I mean, uh, value of i should not go down or go below the one, or it should not be zero. And since we are coming from four to one, we are decreasing, we will use decrement operator here, minus minus. And let's try to print the values of all these. So what I will do, oh, all the loop values or all the values of i, and I will say document.i, okay, document.write, what it will do, it will write this colon, and let me see the output. Okay. Something went wrong. It should or let okay, let i is equal to n. I started from the e4. It should go, it is decreasing, everything is fine. Then why this is not working? Okay. Let me debug this write is not a function okay document dot write this is what the error actually it should be a small d okay and let me refresh this okay so the loop which i have wrote is giving me a number all the numbers from given number to one and this is what I need. Now what I need to do, I need to find the factorial. So I will create a variable called factorial is equal to one. Factorial is a product. So I will keep the value as a one. Okay. In case of, if you want to take a sum, you can keep the value of factorial or any variable to zero. But in case of, or in case of count, you can keep the value to zero so that it will get updated. But in case of product or multiplication, you should not take a value zero of any variable. Otherwise product will be zero. You are out anytime your output will be zero. So don't mess up with logic. So what we need to do is we have to take the product. Okay. So what I will do, I will say factorial is equal to. Okay. N into I. not n obviously we should use fact here because n is included in the i so we don't need to write that 
And if I go here, if I refresh, nothing will be printed because nothing is passed to the HTML documents. I will say document dot write. And here, what I will do, I will print fact. This is my output as expected. So what I should give get. So I should get 24 for the factorial of four. Yes, it is correct. Okay, so what I can say is four into three into two is equal to or into one is equal to 24. Let's calculate the factorial for five. Multiply this with five because we have already product of four to one. So it will be a 120. Let me change my number to five and whether it is giving me a 120 or not to see the output. Okay. If I go here, yes, it is giving me the 120. So now my logic is correct, right? This is how you have to build the logic to find out the factorial of given number. I hope you like the content. Thank you so much for the watching video. Have a nice day.